So, there is an intramolecular any material under the influence of two forces. The first is the intramolecular attraction and there other is the repulsion, right. The repulsion will be the repulsion will be uh, you must have uh, studied in class 11th. It may be due to electron clouds also, okay. But we are not talking about that because while taking the intermolecular attraction, we have discounted that fact. When does a bond form? When there is, see, first there is an attraction of the nucleus with the cloud, of the nucleus with the cloud, they start coming together gradually. When they start coming too close together, the electron clouds as well as the nuclei start repelling and there is an optimum distance at which the bonds form. We are not talking about that repulsion. This repulsion is basically thermal, okay. This is basically the thermal repulsion. Now, it is the interplay of this that leads to any of these three, correct. In case of a gas, you must have seen for the ideal gas equation, what was our, when is a gas ideal, what was our first assumption, ideal gas. That is there, that is there. But what was the assumption behind an ideal gas? What did we assume? Even before that, intermolecular attraction is 0. This was the first assumption. The moment you start incorporating that the intermolecular force should also come in, we had gone to it gone to van der Waals equation. There was a van der Waals equation, no. So, so what was this? That is repulsion is thermal. So, intramolecular attraction is very, very small, repulsion is high, it is a gas. Now, intramolecular forces start becoming higher, it starts becoming a liquid. The intramolecular forces become very high, it becomes a solid. Now, it is no wonder, it is no wonder that you start cooling this, okay. If, if the repulsion is due to the thermal energy, what happens if I start cooling something? I am withdrawing thermal energy out of it. That was responsible for, for the repulsion. So, what happens? This is a gas, you start cooling it what will happen? It will become a liquid. Why? Nothing has happened to the attraction, but there is a sufficient, sufficient, sufficient reduction in the repulsion forces due to the thermal energy. Okay? And then you start cooling it again further and further and further, it will transform into a solid. It does. Every matter does. And that is why even the solid, you start heating, first becomes liquid, then becomes a vapor. Even iron vaporizes, okay. Iron will vaporize. Nuclear bomb was dropped, it exploded some 600 meter above, people vaporized, you know. Due to the heat, people vaporized. So, it is not even possible to understand how many people died. They turned into vapor straight away, okay. This you will find that even iron can vaporize. This you will go and see if you go to, go to an iron steel plant. You will find iron getting converted into vapor. Yes, Huh. What happens that is that is a trouble if you suddenly cool them and that is the beauty you know that that is why you will find nature has done such a great job. There is a definite arrangement of the molecules. Now immediately the moment they become vapor that order gets disturbed okay. Now if you cool suddenly if you try to cool it in what order they will come back that is absolutely out of your control. It is absolutely out of your control. 
the entropy of the system has gone up. Now, if you cool, in what order they start assembling back is beyond you. So, maybe the molecules of the bone they come before the molecules of the flesh or flesh goes inside and the bone comes out and 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 there might be a, might be a mixture okay so so that is the biggest biggest chaos that you will have that means if if someone disassembles a person into molecules then it is absolutely next to impossible to assemble it back why only this we have we have about 50 trillion cells okay 50 trillion cells i'm not talking about even 50 trillion cells this hair you disassemble, try to assemble it back, you will not be able to. I am not asking about the whole hair, one inch of it, you will not be able to do. Why? If we had done that, we would not have been using the real hair as wigs. And what is it? It is nothing but a thread coated with some keratin, right? That is a protein that makes it a bit hard and a bit flexible, that is all. A rhinoceros, rhinoceros's horn, what is it made about? You know what it is? It is not bone, it is hair. Okay? The keratin material is so strong that it looks like a bone. Actually, the horn, the one horned or two horned rhinoceroses, you must have seen. Okay, two horned, there are two horned ones and there is one horn. The it is only hair hair that has come together and is bound by nothing but protein, simple protein. Hmm? That you will understand, the other wonder that you will understand in biomolecules, the last chapter. Beautiful, how you are assembled. Hmm? There are at least 150 types of proteins that will go into, go into making of a DNA. And even one sequence goes wrong and you are gone. Okay? Something or the other will happen to your body. And it never does that. It always builds it exactly in the same sequence. Exactly. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful machine. Beautiful machine. So, obviously, in our solids, the first thing is that that the intermolecular attractions, the intermolecular attractions are very strong that is why it is a solid in the first place. Okay. What is the other property of solid? Due to this it has got a it has a definite mass volume and shape What next? It is resistant to external forces. It is rigid. It is rigid. Okay? Different solids are rigid to different extents. Fine? But they are rigid. What next? What next about solids? Hmm? Anything else? The rigid and hard. What do you mean by rigidity? That means they, they, they do not change shape under ordinary forces as a liquid does. <coughs> yeah. Compressibility is